Hi everybody, this is Dr. Mehmet Doğru from Elite Dental Clinic, Turkey. Today we talk about the differences between digital and analog dental impressions. Dental impressions are very important for us because while we are doing veneers, crowns and dental restorations, we have to take impression from the teeth and send them to dental laboratory. While we are doing it, uh, we use different techniques. Uh, for many years, we have been using analog impression. Uh, but uh, for almost one year, we also start to use digital interval scanner to take uh, impressions of the teeth. Uh, and I want to compare and show you the advantages of the new technology. To do it, I am going to take an uh, analog impression uh, from my patient. Uh, this is an impression tray. I'm gonna fill it with an impression material. Uh, we use different impression materials in dentistry. I'm gonna use a silicone material which is used uh, for veneer restorations. Uh, this is the impression uh, mixing machine. Uh, now I'm gonna fill the tray with it. Uh, I'm starting. Okay, now I filled the impression tray with the material. Now I'm gonna take the impression. Okay, yes. Open please. All right, now I placed the impression tray over the teeth. I press gently. And now I am waiting uh, for a few minutes until the impression material set. Uh, this part is very important if a uh, patient moves or if I move the impression tray a lot, uh, the, the impression uh, will not be correct. Uh, also, I shouldn't uh, press too much or uh, less. Uh, it may cause also uh, different impressions. So, I am waiting. Uh, I have to be very gentle. Uh, today we are lucky or patient is uh, very good. Uh, she's not gagging or she's not causing a problem. But for some people uh, to have a dental impression uh, taken is almost impossible. Some people uh, cannot even stand uh, for 10 seconds. Uh, we try to uh, change their mind. Uh, we, we, we want them count inside uh, we want them to put their one leg up then the other leg and uh, try to uh, make them not to focus on uh, this procedure uh, but still it is very difficult and when we remove the impression tray from the mouth uh, we see that uh, the impression is not good enough and then we do it again and again i remember when i was a uh, student in dental school. Uh, at my first patient, I take the impression uh, about five or six times until I get a proper impression. Uh, but even as a professional dentist, uh, sometimes I do it twice because I'm not happy with the details. Uh, the details are very important for us uh, because uh, we, our patients are generally coming from a broad and they stay for just for one or two weeks and we don't have time to uh, make a mistake uh, when the impression uh, sent to dental laboratory and uh, the dental laboratory should directly start the work. Uh, they shouldn't return us with, uh, Mehmet, we have a problem, you should take any impression again. If, uh, if I get a call like this, uh, this is a big problem because we have very limited time and we may lose at least one or two days if we make a mistake. So while we are taking the impression, the impression should be 100% okay. Now I remove the impression tray from the mouth. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Now here, this is the impression. Uh, of course, uh, if you want to create a model, a cast model, we have to uh, send it to dental laboratory and they are going to create the model. Uh, these silicone uh, materials could stand up to four or five days 
uh, without uh, changing uh, the shapes of the teeth, the details. Uh, but some materials uh, have very limited time. In 20 minutes, in 30 minutes, we should create the model. If we use a mat uh, material like that, then uh, we create the model in the clinic. Uh, but if I send this veneer impression to dental laboratory, it will arrive next day uh, with package delivery and uh, they have a chance to have a model uh, on it tomorrow. Okay, now I'm gonna take the same impression uh, with uh, digital intraoral scanner and we will see the difference. Okay, this time I'm gonna take the same impression with a digital intraoral scanner. Now, open please. Okay, it's almost finished. I am checking if any unscanned part uh, is uh, rest. For example, if I am going to make a restoration on this tooth, I don't need to scan in this part. Uh, I think this impression is enough for me. Uh, but for details, I can make some corrections on software and re-scan it. It took only 39 seconds. Uh, no, now the impression is finished uh, and uh, it is saved on the database. I can directly send this impression to any laboratory in seconds with an email. Uh, for example, if I want to discuss the case with my technician, I can send this impression and then call him and ask him what do you think, uh, do you need any corrections or do you want to make any changes? Uh, before finalizing the work, before uh, sending patient, uh, we can make any corrections and just in 30 seconds or one minute we can we take the impression and send to laboratory again. The other advantage, uh, we have colors. Uh, while we are picking the uh, color of a restoration, uh, we can uh, see the uh, original color, color of the tooth. But with the analog way, uh, we don't have this chance. We have to check colors ourselves. Uh, now, uh, I also want to show you the models uh, which are created with this uh, technology. Okay, finally, I want to show you the models also. This is a 3D printed model, uh, which is printed uh, from a digitally uh, scanned impression. Uh, 3D printers uh, create these models. Uh, these models are uh, something like plastic. And this is the uh, cast model, uh, which is uh, created from a regular uh, analog impression. Uh, to have this model, uh, we need at least 24 hours, uh, because the impression will go to laboratory, they will create this model and uh, send it back to us. But this model, uh, from a 3D printer can be created in just 10 minutes. Also, we don't uh, even uh, need a physical uh, model like this because technicians uh, could directly work over this uh, digitally uh, created model because it is an impression, but it is also uh, a digital uh, model. Uh, so, thank you uh, for your time. Thank you for watching me. Uh, I try to uh, tell uh, the differences. I hope you like it. Thank you so much.